Hey everybody, this is Rob. Thank I wanted to thank everybody for watching. Uh, I was looking at YouTube the other day. I'm up to forty thousand views uh, on on my channel. I appreciate everybody watching the videos and uh, kind of supporting what I'm doing here. And today got a weird like a weird reaction this is from a this is a recommendation from my buddy Rick hey Rick how you, how you doing and uh, this guy mono neon now I have not seen this so this was a, this is actually going to be a true reaction here and uh, Sally needs a daddy and, and I know very little I know this guy's a bass player but I don't really know much more than that so um, we're, we're gonna get into this and see what my buddy's buddy's talking about here but he, he seemed to like it a lot, so so here we go. No story about a girl named Sally, she needs a day. Okay, already this is totally nuts, right? <laughs> like this, I don't like. He, he was talking about the singy, singing, playing kind of stuff. He's like doubling his, he's doubling that guitar riff with the singing part, which which is really crazy. And obviously, the the whole trippiness of the video is nuts. Uh, but I, I like this a lot so far. This is a, I don't even know what's going what's going to happen with this thing. <laughs> No story about a girl named Sally, she needs a day. Okay, what's okay, what's up with that sock? You see the sock on the end of the thing? <laughs> and it's it's obviously insanely funky. I mean you hear the, the drum beat in the background and uh left handed by the way, or or unless they flip the flip the thing. But yeah, this this is nuts. She didn't have a place to go, so she came home to me. Okay, what is that? <laughs> oh, listen to that bass. No about a girl in she needs a day. She didn't have a place to go, so she came home to me. Okay, I'm hearing some prints in there. What do you? I, I'd be curious in the in the uh, in the comments what you guys would think about what the what the influence is here. I'm I, I I'm hearing a little bit of prints. Uh, like this is just insanely funky. Like I don't even know what to make of this song. I mean, there, there's, I mean, the ba that that bass that you just heard was was bonkers. Ugh. Okay, so is that a bass with an octave up? That sounds like a bass with an with an octave pedal up and then something else on it. There's something else on that bass sound. Sal, Sal, girl, hey, you want a banana, girl? I know you want this banana, girl. I know you want it. 
You want it? I'll give it to you. I can see it all in your face, girl. I know you want this banana, girl. I know you want it, girl. Come on over here. Come on over. I'll give you this banana. You know what I mean? I'll give it right to you. Come on, girl. I, see, I can see it in your face that you want the banana. Girl. Come on over. I'll be your daddy, girl. You know I will. You know I will, girl. You know I will. Mm -hmm. techno like phasery kind of sound flanger or something oh that's crazy <laughs> Okay, that's crazy. Okay, I don't know what to make of that at all. That is that that was a crazy song. I mean, I I don't even know what's going on here. I mean, <laughs> I mean, what what is what was up with all the all the bass? I mean, the bass and guitar sounds were all over the place. Like I don't even know what what to make of that. Let me let me go find another one here if you guys give me one second. I'm going to go find find one more of uh one more of his songs here if you guys just bear with me. Oh, I already like it. Did you hear? It? Did you hear that uh, that sound? Let's see if I can get uh, see if I can get this on here relatively quickly. Paste. Okay. Okay, that's nuts. I mean, that bass part is absolutely killer. And they, I mean, that's so weird with the with the drums and the bass. Like, I don't understand. Like, and this is what kills me about about mu music is that my my brain always makes me fit stuff in a very standard kind of sound in a very tonal sound and when i hear stuff like this this is i mean this is people usually make music in in relation to what is in their head right so so this kind of sound is this what's going through this guy's head all day you know i mean think about that is this what's going through this guy's head all day that's nuts yeah oh, listen to that bass Those vocals are very cool. Like, and so they've got like a doubling thing going on. I mean, I don't know if that's a lower singer with with a female or if there's a guitar in there mimicking the vocals. That's crazy. <laughs> She made me smile, she made me so damn well. 
She was round and brown. She was round and goddamn brown. She made me smile. She made me so damn proud. Now I'm hearing a little bit of George Clinton. On the other one, I heard Prince. And th this now I'm hearing a little bit of George Clinton in here. She did so many things that the other girl can't do. Yeah. Hear that keyboard? It's got a really sparse thing going on, right? You hear the the guitar play. I mean, you've got this this drone of drums, sort of in the in the bottom, and then you've got the you know this this really scattered, frantic uh, guitar playing. <laughs> So those drums really made the thing sound frantic, right? Yeah, I mean, you could hear the, the franticness of that. Um, my feelings be peeling. That's that's the name of the album. It looks like that. That's crazy. And uh, I mean, what what's up with the picture? You see the I mean, what, what's that on his head? Like this guy is nuts. His brain is nuts. Like and so. Like I said, this this really makes me think about what people have going on in their heads, you know, and, and they would create something like this is, is sort of nuts. Um, I mean, I don't even know what to make of that. Because again, there's obviously a ton of funk in there. And one thing that I, I kind of noticed is that they have that like... Da, da, de, da, de, 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 de. Like that's a really normal sounding riff. And... But the way the keyboard and the guitar and the drums and all of it like was w just fit weird together, like it didn't even make sense with each other, like everything was kind of off. Um, you know, like the I don't even know what to, yeah, I mean, I'm at a loss for words, I don't even know what to think of that. It was obviously very artistic, I mean, he had a, a obvious vision with his music, um, but yeah, I mean. Yeah, again, this goes out to my uh, buddy Rick. Hey, Rick, that that was something else. Uh, but uh, anyway, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was something that I've never heard before, and that that guy's pretty nuts. Uh, Mono Neon is that that guy's name. Bass player, from what I've heard, but there was quite a bit of guitar in there. I wonder if the guitar was him too. But anyway, there's some Mono Neon for you. I will see you guys on the next one. Take it easy. <laughs>